The Liberty women's volleyball team has reached new heights under the leadership of coach Shane Pinder as they continue to hammer the Big South. This team has proven they are forced to be reckoned with. They're both young and edgy, and their big plays often lead to some even bigger celebrations. You know, volleyball as a whole has that kind of energy. It's a little different from a lot of sports in terms of the celebration. There's a certain level of, of uh, intensity and passion in the way they celebrate it. They're celebrating every point, you know, win or lose. Um, they're, they're passionate about each other and they're excited for each other. There's this explosion of energy because of what it takes to actually make that point successful. And so uh, when you see this eruption of energy, it's celebrating their work and how hard they work to get that point, but it's also making a statement across the net that uh, you're in for a fight tonight. It definitely energizes us seeing the younger people come in just as excited as us and not afraid of cheering or anything like that. It energizes us to be the same way on the court. Winning gets me hype all the time, so like, if we're up and everyone's cheering and having a great time, like it's even better. I just yell a lot and do like crazy things and like you can tell when I'm like get really excited because I'll just like black out from being like so crazy sometimes. You know, it energizes us, it energizes the staff. Um, you know, we might not necessarily be the ones that express it with the dance moves and the, you know, craziness that they do, but I think they can feel our energy because we're excited for them. These players certainly don't hold anything back while celebrating, but Coach Shane Pinder has a style of his own. He like will give like a few claps here and there and he'll like kind of do this motion, but he like remains pretty calm throughout it. But sometimes if we make a really good play, you'll see him get a little, a little excited, so. Game day's theirs. That's what they work all week for is to be out there and compete. And I'm in my best place when I can leave them alone come game day and I know I've prepared them and they're prepared for the moment and, and now it's just about tactical stuff. It's easy for a team to stay positive during the good times. But Coach Pinder also teaches his team the importance of sticking together when facing a challenge. It doesn't matter if we're down 0-2, we can come back and fight because our energy's there. That's one thing that you know we always talk about is, is managing the moments, staying positive in the plays. Um, because we are young, we're going to make mistakes. I think we all kind of work in tandem to lift each other up and it helps us play better when we have that big energy that we show on the court. Staying together becomes a really important thing because the opposing team, no matter what they keep bringing at you, you keep responding the right way. And over time they start to sense that and, and they, they start feeling, man, they're not going anywhere. It's going to get down to a battle of the wills and, and it's going to collide and, and you're going to find out who's stronger in that area. This team is strong and no matter the outcome, on game day, you can find them celebrating every point along the way. Play every point with this desire that moves people. When you're passionate like that, people want to watch it. Uh, when you're passionate like that, people want to coach it. You know, you're ready to get into the next fight because you trust what's going out there.